Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, or SLAM, is a process whereby a device creates a map of its surroundings and orients itself within the map in real time. A good example is this autonomous robot vacuum cleaner from Dyson, mapping its environment. However, many of today's SLAM algorithms are limited to working primarily in static and controlled environments. In order to enable applications to truly interact with the real world, SLAM algorithms must provide a number of advanced capabilities. These include capturing accurate photorealistic 3D models while handling changing scenes with varying lighting conditions and occlusions. Real-world SLAM algorithms must also be able to handle colorless scenes and scenes with flat surfaces. Lastly, the real world is mobile. The next generation of SLAM software must run on mobile platforms. This is going to require SLAM algorithms to be super efficient given the processing, memory, and power limitations dictated by mobile devices. As mentioned earlier, existing SLAM technologies cannot meet these challenges. Van Gogh's Starry Night software applies a much more advanced approach called Dynamic SLAM, which addresses all of these challenges. Dynamic SLAM employs a number of key techniques. To start with, our Dynamic SLAM takes full advantage of multiple sensor inputs, including RGB cameras, 3D depth sensors, inertial motion units, and stereoscopic cameras. Dynamic SLAM also employs a tracking technique known as sparse tracking. Sparse tracking uses color information to identify key features, and this reduces the need for dense 3D depth data. Processing requirements are also greatly reduced by applying machine learning techniques. The green dots indicate key feature areas identified using color information. We're going to augment the scene by inserting a colored cube frame as shown here. Now we'll pan to a new part of the scene where the colored cube is not visible. Drop a second cube and then move back to our starting point. Note that there is no jitter associated with the colored cubes and they are in the exact location where they were originally inserted. We can drop multiple cubes into the scene and see the same high level of stability. Starry Night is also highly tolerant of dynamically changing scenes and occlusions. As you can see here, tracking is very stable even as someone walks through the scene. Tracking stability is also maintained even if objects in the foreground are occluded as shown here. Another core capability of Starry Night is the ability to provide global tracking, also known as pose recovery. Here we'll quickly change the pose of the camera to a part of the scene which has not yet been captured. This results in a loss of tracking. As soon as we go back to a familiar part of the scene, tracking is regained. Sparse tracking is extremely reliable and efficient, making it the ideal solution for mobile devices. Dynamic SLAM also uses a technique called dense tracking, which is automatically applied when needed to improve sparse tracking accuracy and to capture accurate photorealistic 3D models, as shown here. IMU sensor data can be added to handle sudden large changes in pose. Also, stereo cameras can be incorporated for outdoor applications. One of the challenges in scanning a complete 360-degree scene is how to correct a phenomenon known as drifting. As the camera pans across the scene, it introduces slight errors in the estimated path taken. The accumulation of these errors results in misaligned loop ends. Starry Night provides advanced loop closure capability to fix these misalignments. Our loop closure also works very well when capturing large scenes, such as this scene covering multiple rooms. Let's suppose we scan a full scene, as shown here. We can immediately generate a full 3D model. Now suppose there is a change to the scene, such as the removal of an object. Dynamic SLAM allows the user to go back and scan only the small portion of the scene where the change occurred. There is no need to rescan the entire scene. The scene pose is recovered and the original scene model is updated. Dynamic SLAM handles changes in lighting conditions as well. Another challenge in capturing scenes is the ability to handle flat surfaces because they lack unique 3D features. Our sparse tracking uses 2D color information to capture and track flat surfaces. 
Finally, Dynamic Slam can run on a host of mobile platforms. Sparse tracking is optimized for efficient use of processing power, memory, and battery life. Van Gogh's mission is to make Dynamic Slam the industry standard for all mobile devices, including smartphones and wearables.